A right cylinder is leaking water at a rate of 3.1 cubic feet per second. If the cylinder has a height of 11 feet and a radius of 3 feet, at what rate is the height of the water changing when the height is 4 feet? And we're told to round to the nearest hundredth. So first we need to begin with the volume formula for a right cylinder, which is V equals pi r squared h, which is really just the area of the base times the height. From here we know the water is leaking at a rate of 3.1 cubic feet per second. This is the change in volume with respect to time, which we represent as dv dt. dv dt equals negative 3.1 cubic feet per second. We're using negative here because the water is leaking from the tank, not filling the tank. Next, if the cylinder has a height of 11 feet and a radius of four feet, at what rate is the height of the water changing when the height is four feet? So because we're concerned about the water, we know the radius is equal to three feet, which will not change. And we're concerned about the rate at which the height is changing when the height of the water is four feet, and therefore h is equal to four feet. Notice how I'm not using the height of 11 feet because that's the height of the cylinder, and we're concerned about, and we're concerned about the change in the height of the water. And therefore, we're trying to find dh dt. So because the water in the cylinder always has a radius of three feet, we can substitute three for r in the volume formula. This gives us the volume v is equal to pi times the square of three times h. Simplifying, we have the volume v is equal to nine pi h. And again, because we're looking for dh dt, we now differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. And now we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to t. The derivative of v with respect to t is dv dt equals on the right. The derivative of nine pi h with respect to t is equal to nine pi times the derivative of h with respect to t which gives us nine pi times dh dt. And because we're looking for dh dt, we now need to solve the equation for dh dt by dividing both sides by nine pi. Simplifying, we now know that dh dt is equal to dv dt divided by nine pi. And we know dv dt is equal to negative 3.1 cubic feet per second, and therefore dh dt is equal to negative 3.1 divided by nine pi, which we're told to round to the hundredths place value, which is negative 0.11. And therefore dh dt is approximately negative 0.11, and this is measuring the change in the height with respect to the time t in seconds and therefore the units here are feet per second. So this tells us when the water is leaking from the cylinder at a rate of 3.1 cubic feet per second, at exactly when the height of the water is four feet, the height is changing at a rate of negative 0.11 feet per second, or the height is decreasing at a rate of 0.11 feet per second at this instant. I hope you found this helpful.